Aloha. Uh, I wanted to do a video specifically on the idea of cognitive dissonance and how far it goes into the most obvious uh, perspectives because there's a uh, this is a follow-up to the last video and <clears throat> it's also an expansion into the idea of con cognitive dissonance in reference to the cognitive dissonance that we understand that's normal with people being sucked into the grid and like celebrating the masses or celebrating the the system itself celebrating your enslavement celebrating the the control grid and when presented with ideas or truth or information that is um, that challenges your belief systems that challenges that reality is automatically shut down uh, because ultimately because the individual is not ready to interpret that information when it gets into the defense mechanisms of stopping people from realizing information that gets into the compassionate vibrations that are being manipulated by stuff like the new age mentality the new age agenda this we're all one oneness um, perspective which is the intention of the new version of enslavement now just like how I mentioned in the last video anti-semitism is an invention to protect the industry of the spells that are being projected onto the mass population through stuff like Hollywood the mainstream media uh, all the industries that the Jesuits are in charge of behind the veil and when you go further into the Jesuit priests being amongst the first to install the mind control program of the religious design here in the so-called new world when Christopher Columbus came over this story is very deep and it's very intertwined into all of the systems of mind control it's not just one thing or the other just like it's not just all one we're all one story we're all being attacked we're all being there's chemtrails all over the sky so this is just all one we're all one story see that is the cognitive dissonance that people are used to understanding and used to seeing is the cognitive dissonance that comes from people who are just enslaved by like mainstream media social media politics and then defend that that um defend that program that's like negative cognitive dissonance there's also a positive cognitive dissonance which is part of the new age agenda which is this we're all one it's all one story see the cognitive dissonance of the negative side is about cognitive dissonance as a whole is about not opening up to information and not being able to <clears throat> see the bigger pictures because of whatever energies have a have a hold of you in that moment and the the reasons why you can't see that is because the the linear perspectives are are being challenged the linear perspectives that people hold on to are being challenged by uh, some two or more like it says in here two or more contradicting contradictory beliefs ideas or values at the same time so in the negative perspective the the linear perspective is being challenged like when you talk about Beyonce or when you talk is when you say some shit about Beyonce and now it's even being more revealed for how deep Beyonce and Jay-Z are in that whole enslavement program I maybe mean, it was it was so obvious before but 
that's an actual magic people are seeing now now that they know who they really are like I mentioned in a, in a previous video this is why they don't do interviews with these people these people are used as tools to sell enslavement agendas don't think that the music that is being projected into your baby's brain into your baby's spirit into your own mind don't think that that is not calibrated to do the same kind of programming that she and her husband Jay-Z are doing when they support people like Hillary Clinton that is a deep program and people are seeing it for what it is now but since people believe in that so in that individual so much and it's, it's no different than the the Jesus programming in church and uh, the transhumanism agenda people believing technology and the, the monkey evolution theory and Neil deGrasse Tyson this is what this is that same inform it's that same stream of thought it's that cognitive dissonance of the <clears throat> of the the belief system of the old system now there's the positive the po the so-called positive cognitive dissonance of the new belief systems which is this all we're all one which is why it's being it's being pushed through the new age agenda so quickly it's being it's being pushed so quickly through the new age agenda so that you as an individual and as a collective and as your own culture your own harmonics will not understand the stories that lead up to stuff like the mainstream media and the enslavement of the indigenous peoples and the white supremacy program and all of these programs that have completely destroyed the foundations of nature the relationship between humanity and nature those stories that are covered with stuff like oh well the indigenous people were savages and primitives and so on and so forth those stories are being washed over by this we're all one it's all we're all being attacked sort of victimization program in order to in order to wash away everything like it didn't happen and send in this mayonnaise sandwich version of reality as if we're all being attacked we're all oh, we're it's all us and this this quote right here this individual who made a comment on the video that I did yesterday even though many many times all the videos that I've done in reference to the the, the bigger storylines and even in this video I referenced so many times the perspective is not rooted in race I am mentioning the storyline of race because it's part of the agenda and the focus on some kind of level but people are so caught up in that mentality they have to, to get into their emotional body and they have to project onto you that that you're wrong like I'm, I'm, I'm wrong for mentioning things that exist even though I said that my perspective is rooted in what these things that exist are attached to in reference to the mind control agenda and the soul control agenda see this individual is coming at me automatically by from the body perspective this is what the new age agenda is based on it sells you it sells you this idea of uh, we're, we're all of the stars and all this other stuff we're all one we're all spirit but when it's caught up in the emotional body of this whole we're all oneness perspective, it throw it burns the root system. It burns everything that happened on the darker energies that led up to the mind control program and the enslavement program of today. 
And I wanted to give a perfect example, this individual, I'm going to break this down, a perfect example of the of what I kind of coined in the shower yesterday, which is like, uh, um, in the shower I coined it as co cognitive dissonance or like Caucasian cognitive dissonance. Because just like the anti-Semitism from the so-called Jewish perspective, it's an idea that's invented to protect, to protect um, its own perspectives and adopt, or for lack of a better word, steal like the 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 uh, like Napoleon and the colonization program did to Egypt, breaking all the noses off of there, to and stealing all of these this magic, this alchemy, to install their own power grid. See, that's the that's the negative side. The positive side is to say is to steal everything and cover everything up with this whole oneness agenda. And now that they have fear and uh, destruction on a mass scale, this is how just like the the the, the anti-Semites did or the anti-Semitism mentality did with covering up the the mainstream media and Hollywood agenda and the all the shit that's going on underneath the scenes that's a defense mechanism so you guys know where I'm coming from so this is a perfect example of what I'm coining now as like positive cognitive dissonance the negative cognitive dissonance is um, the old is the is like the escape from the mainstream like they can't get out of that reality because of those belief systems are so thick they're so rich in the individual that um and that really doesn't matter it, it really doesn't matter uh what race you are uh in that in that enslavement program it's still an enslavement program uh and it covers it's a broad spectrum co program that that cognitive dissonance, negative cognitive dissonance does. But when you get up into the posi positive, so-called positive cognitive dissonance perspective, it is heavily weighted in the idea or, or the, the perspective of uh, so-called white people. Where, where I mentioned in the last video, there are no white people, there are no black people. You, There are the melanated people and there are uh the the white perspective is a vibration it's a vibration that is a side effect to the energies that add up to the enslavement program and the cognitive dissonance it's a it's a mind control program so the positive <clears throat> the so-called positive cognitive dissonance is heavily weighted in the the so-called white perspective it's a low it's a low vibration that is just about watering everything down and making everything really simple in order to ride that wave of whatever's going on into the future into the orchestrated future the new age agenda is about orchestrating the future. The new world order is about orchestrating the future. The globalism, the Americanism, the Alex Jones, all that is about orchestrating the future. All these presidents and all this stuff, this is about selling you the future. NASA selling you the future. The university system selling you the past, the present, and the future. All of this, NASA is about selling the past, present, and future too because it's all based upon the evolution system, the, the idea of the Big Bang, the gravity theory, the evolution theory. All these things are intertwined. But one thing people, most people are not comfortable with addressing is this whole oneness campaign and that we're all being, and I'll break this, this comment down right now, we're all, it's all the same. We're all being um, attacked. So your stories are invalid. That's basically what it is. It's, it's, we're all being chemtrailed. So the idea of enslavement 
uh, of the indigenous people, the massacres, everything that uh, Columbus did, the smallpox blankets, the genocides, the colonization of Africa, the, the almost the almost extinction of the ab Aboriginal Australians, uh, the mind control program of the so-called African American, the actual Aboriginal Americans, all that shit doesn't exist. Don't talk about that. Don't think about that. Don't address that. It has no relation to what's going on right now. Why? Because the skies above me are being sprayed. This is not a black, white, brown, red, or yellow issue. This affects us all. No shit. I'm not saying that it's not affecting us all. In fact, that's why I made that last video from the perspective of coming at it from the soul level. Sorcery. Western sorcery. Yes, this sorcery is a mind control program of the all that does not negate the reality of the storylines all of the, 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 the destructive mentalities, the destructive intelligence that has led up to this collective destructive program that very much so did have a focus and still does have a focus in this moment right now. And just because your simple ass perspectives of looking up in the sky and seeing chemtrails and thinking that, oh, this is just, it's just everybody. Because you haven't done your homework. The stories of the people who have done their homework, just because you haven't done your work compassionately, your compassionate homework. You haven't done that work to understand that there is a focus to these agendas. And because you haven't done your soul homework, you have to defend the program in this positive cognitive dissonance perspective and say that everything's all one. Everything, because that's easy. Because that's the easy answer for you to be comfortable and not, and that, that's the protective film against your subconscious guilt and you can only shed that conscious subconscious guilt if you if you do the work you need to do because that guilt is also a manifestation of your artificial ego and until you do that work because you yourself are not responsible for enslaving millions of people. You yourself are not responsible for the colonization program. You yourself are not responsible for the chemtrails and the, and the fluoridated water and the genetically modified foods. You yourself, and I'm not blaming you personally. Nobody is blaming anybody personally for this. We understand that this is a universal problem that, has, that it has grown to. My point is, just because it's a universal problem does not mean that the focus energies of the enslavement program the focus energies that add up to stuff like this and the, the, the Native Americans, the genocide, the massacres of the Native Americans, them still to this day, right now, at Standing Rock, right now, trying to protect their clean water against the, the, the system. Individuals want to defend themselves, their own artificial egoic guilt is actually counterproductive and it's actually the same shit that that the masses that the mainstream media cognitive dissonance program does it's counterproductive because it's it, it's only sharing the perspective of the artificial progress movement this is this new age agenda this alien agenda 
the ancient aliens agenda, the alien agenda, the, oh, aliens come and save us. Oh, we're all one underneath the star system and all this other shit. That is obviously being manipulated by the control grid. And since people and, and when people buy into that illusory future, that illusory past, that illusory present moment, they have to close those gaps of what has led up the negative so-called negative energies, the destructive energies that added up into the storylines of this moment and just say, well, oh, it's it's just, you know, it's not about that. Really? Go over to Standing Rock. Take your ass out to Standing Rock and tell these Native Americans it's not about it's not about a black, white, red, or brown issue. This affects us all. Take this comment out to Standing Rock right now where they're being pepper sprayed and go talk to them and see how that fucking feels. See if you don't get fucking bitch slapped by a grandma out there, an elder, because you haven't done your damn homework. This is that shallow ass mentality that people want to get into. To defend their own artificial guilt. There are anti-white programs just the same as there are for Phil in the race. This is that equality, that equality, gener generalizing equality system. Wanting, wanting to act like this doesn't exist. Racism is about power. It's about the power to control an entire race. You sir are under the mentality that race the race perspective and racism is about individual actions that is the one percent of what the race racism definition is rooted in racism is about the power to control an entire race to put down an entire race. And that has only, when you maximize that, the main perspective of that is directly, it, it is the mirror image of expanding it all the way out. It's the mirror image of the white supremacy program. When you understand that that is the the origin of that mentality and it's only been watered down all the way into the individual perspective of some stupid ass on Instagram saying something so ridiculous calling people the n-word and all kinds some some little white girl calling somebody the n-word and going off talking about uh, black people are dirty and all that stuff yeah that's racist in a sense that that sick individual is a manifestation of the supremacy program that comes all the way from the colonization of the entire earth plane. The beating down of all of the melanated people, the indig indigenous people and the aboriginal people across the earth plane, calling people savages, calling people primitive, Installing the university system, installing the slave program, colonizing Africa, slaughtering the Aboriginal Australians, slaughtering and, and sticking a flag that represents Great Britain, the European perspectives. This is how far this has gone. That's the negative side. The positive side of the so-called positive side of that agenda is now to polar shift since people have such a guilt complex 
from that happening and don't know what to do with that information, they have to fur they have to separate themselves so far from that mentality and introduce this this oneness, this like jumping from level one to level ten. So you won't look at what's happened to uh, all the levels in between there. There's work you need to do. And then, of course, they, they, they take the storylines and add them up to only back up their lack of information. Oh, well, I have done my homework. Here, read, read the Jesuit oath. All roads lead to Rome. If you aren't one of them, and even sometimes if you are, it doesn't matter. The end justifies the means in their opinion. Yes, I understand this. When you, when you expand it all the way up, these storylines do exist. Now, does the, the, the existence of that storyline negate the existence of the storyline of the white supremacy program? No, it doesn't. And you have to see how that fits in there. On a, it's easy to see on a body level when you understand the prison industrial complex. It's easy to see on the mind level when you see the understand the mind control program of the Barbie programming and the Hollywood agenda being all so-called white people. When you understand the White House and their politicians and your teachers being all so-called white people, you can understand the mind control program there. The difficult part is when you get up to the soul level, and this is where the so-called positive di cognitive dissonance sets in, because these individuals need to close those gaps. They just want to jump over the mind, over the body, into the soul, and say, well, everything's the same, and nothing else ever existed. And things are so bad against everybody. So like when I talk about slavery, the indigenous, the, the mind control program, see, it's, it's skipping. It's skipping over the mind control program. This is, the, this is the, the, the intention of it, really. See, when I'm talking about this in the last video, it, it's, it's skipping. I'm glad I thought of this right now, too. The positive cognitive, cognitive dissonance is based upon skipping over the mind control agenda as if it doesn't exist, as if it doesn't need to be mentioned, only because you have the perspective of the soul level in some kind of way. So people can understand the slavery on the body level, chains, locking people to posts, whipping. People understand that. They don't want to go into the depths of understanding that. Because if you go into the depths, you'll have to go into the mind control program as a whole. But in, so in order to close that gap, you have to jump to the soul level and close that level. And in the meantime, it completely negates the, in the entire mind control program work that never got done. So this perspective, like, where is it at? the Jesuit Rome perspective. That's to sell it all the way up from the soul level, but never understanding the mind control program, the psychological effects that slavery has on an entire race of people, the psychological effects that the indigenous and aboriginal people being labeled as primitive and savages has on entire generations of people the psychological effects that those agendas, that the Hollywood agenda, the mainstream agenda that has effects and a focus on the genetic makeup of people down to literally genetically modifying your baby food, your, 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 your children. The psychological effects of only having liquor stores in the so-called inner cities as your supermarket. The psychological effects of having a liquor store on every street corner. This is the mind control part of this supremacy program of the, the entire storyline that mostly 
so-called white people have a problem with understanding and looking at because it's not a part of their reality. It's not a part of their reality. See if see see people that grew up in my neighborhood or people so-called black or brown people, it's not hard to understand what I was talking about in the last video. But since these individuals, these these people haven't done their homework, meaning that they don't understand compassionately how this stuff exists in their reality because it's so far from them. And since they have to close those gaps, they just say, oh, well, everything is just about Rome and the Jesuits. And it's, it's all about this. There's no focus on race. The Native Americans weren't. It's not only them. It's not only black people. It's not only brown people. Do some research on Dr. Francis Cress Welsing and the existence of white genetic annihilation. Start there, at least. Realize, fill in the gaps of the mind control program that you've just jumped from the body enslavement over that into the, into the soul reality. So this is how, how it covers it up. They will sacrifice one of their own to make things seem isolated. This is how far this goes. It's like, oh, well, the, the, the people behind the veil are so bad that they'll, they'll just kill everybody. It, it, it doesn't matter. Those stories don't matter. You, you're just being, you're, you're wrong. Like he says on here, like I'll get to it in a second. This is not a white or black thing. There are tons of black actors, comedians, singers, etc., <laughs> I'm not even going to address that. You just completely missed the whole point of that, of the last video that I did. That is the essence of cognitive dissonance right there as a whole, the positive or negative, whatever it is. These folks follow Apollo. Look, who played Apollo Creed? Showtime at the Apollo. This is this half-assed information, information um, research programming that gets, that's a side effect to like this YouTube, this, this internet information stream programming to where which is what the pro the system is banking on it's that people this is what the new age program is banking on is that oh well people will only do the people are only so uh they only have so much of a focus they'll get like the anunnaki story and just say oh well it's just anunnaki there it, it or they'll take the and the david ike story and say well oh it's just reptilians those are the bad guys and we're the good guys and that's it and nothing else matters or they'll take the alex jones perspective and say oh well the bad guys are the globalists and that's uh that's hillary clinton and barack obama and people of the old white house and now it's time to have a new white house uh with people like donald trump this is that duality playing with program. And then you have people like this individual who says, oh, well, this is about Apollo and the storylines of the Jesuits. And um, it's all about, you know, these, these, these bad guys and we're all the good guys. So the good guys, the, that's the simplest basic, generic, mayonnaise sandwich as perspective that the system is banking on with this wave, this entire ocean of internet information that's available to people. It's that, well, people will only have the attention span <clears throat> or the compassion or the energy really to just focus on one version of reality. And they won't go into the indigenous stories. They won't go into the intention behind the supremacy program. They won't go into understanding the, 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 the teachers that talk about the depths of uh, white genetic annihilation, the depths of the, the colonization program. 
the depths of the Aboriginal Americans. They won't go into that. They need something movie-like. They need something easy. So they'll stop on stuff like Apollo and just leave it into this floaty thing. And then the defense mechanism beyond that is to make other people feel like they're wrong. So he'll say, he says in here, you, sir, have some points, but you aren't seeing the bigger picture. So since I have gone into the depths of sharing the details of this program and how it affects people on so many layers, on the body, on the mind, and on the soul, because I've taken those perspectives in reference to the body perspective of how the, the, the people on the boots on the ground level are being, perspe are being uh, affected on a mass scale, since I come from that perspective, in order to not leave any of the historical information out, in order to not leave any of the people out, I'm the one who's missing the bigger picture. <laughs> See, the bigger picture is in this individual's head, and it's based upon Apollo and the Jesuits and, and you know, the fact that this is about everybody. Even though I mentioned all the power and sorcery and possession of the entire collective, but since I have a focus of the supremacy program, it installs, this individual has installed the artificial guilt from the artificial ego into their perspective. And that's what I'm calling positive cognitive dissonance. This is the perfect example of positive cognitive dissonance. The negative cognitive dissonance is where people will just get into, it's like the globe, the globe, uh, or people who defend like Beyonce or Barack Obama or Alex Jones or, or uh, Fox News or Donald Trump. That's like negative cognitive dissonance. They can't let go of that system. Positive cognitive dissonance is the, the fluffy, the cloudy, where everything's one. That's that's something that I didn't realize, and I want to thank you, sir, for helping me see that this exists and being able to put it to words. Because I I, I wouldn't have been put in, able to put it to words unless somebody had at this point because it's ha it's been happening so often. I mean, it, it, it's out there. It's obvious with. The, the Oprah programming teaming up with Eckhart Tully and these fake guru, some fake gurus that are out there only to control you. That a fake guru that's just trying to take advantage of an individual or a group of people or is just trying to make some money is no different. That's an individualistic, excuse me, that's an individual version of what's happening on the mass scale. The, the, the new age agenda is like, a massive fake guru and um, the side effects to people being their artificial egos being activated as the the fake guru with this oneness unity perspective this watered-down version of understanding this reality these are the side effects, these are the side of the positive cognitive dissonance is the side effect to that. So he says, yeah, you sir have some points, like some points are correct, but you aren't seeing the bigger picture, sir. You are not <laughs> like, OK, thanks. I see programming in every single movie I see. True. Some focus on certain things to brainwash and to demoralize and dehumanizing folks. True. If you see an actor, you are seeing someone who has made a vow to be against you regardless of skin color. True-ish. Because there are some people who are very understanding 
like the like like the idea that the after the civil rights movement the KKK just disappeared. There are some very, very racist ass people in the Hollywood industry. Obviously, I don't even have to emphasize that, they're, they're, and they know what they're doing. When you get up to the to the, the the individuals who are holding the magic wands within Hollywood, they know exactly what they're doing. When you understand that the government installed the guns into the community, the crack into the inner city communities, they weren't going into white neighborhoods and installing crack. They weren't going into white neighborhoods and installing Uzis. Eventually, that stuff leaked into there with all the prescription drugs and all the others and all the other stuff. Yes, but where was their focus? Where was the, the where did they first take those crates of Uzis? Where where was the first shipment of crack? You want to tell me that that doesn't have an intention? That it doesn't have a focus? It's not just in Oakland. It was happening in New York. It was happening in L.A., Chicago. There's a focus there. And the new age agenda, this whole like, oh, we just need to see how it's. No, y yeah, that's part of it. But it sure as hell ain't the whole storyline. You skipped over a whole chapter. So thank you again, sir, for leaving this comment so I can break it down and share how it's a perfect example of, of positive cognitive dissonance that I didn't really have any words. So like when we have words, as much as I hate labels, <laughs> like I just can't stand labels. Um, they do help. They do help like positive, like the, the regular definition of cognitive dissonance is very bland. It's very generic. But if we were to focus it in on the idea of like I just did with negative and positive cognitive dissonance, then we can see how this this information um, is more focused and how it affects people on various la layers. It manifests into these protests, into like People talking about like what that individual just said, that comment that was just made on an on a on a video named Western Sorcery, Power and Possession, that had a focus of the actual stuff over decades. Images of decades of supremacist, white supremacist mentalities being energies, magic, being funneled through the consciousness before you, sir, were even born. This programming was being made into your into generations before you. You want to tell me, my grandmother, my uncle, my aunt, that that doesn't exist? That that's not a part of the storyline. And then you want to say, oh, well, this is just, it's about everybody. So then you want to call us stupid now. Because you think we don't know that it's all right. It's all also affecting everybody. Only. To. Cover up your own artificial guilt, your artificial egoic guilt that is based upon the lack of study, the lack of compassionate homework that you have yet to have done. That's the last of it. Because it's obviously happening on a, on, a, on a collective scale. When individuals go out into the street and say Black Lives Matter in order to make the reality of that supremacy program that has manifested to just people, just cops, just shooting people, unarmed people on the streets. It's not a human reaction. It is the negative cognitive dissonance 
of these police officers and all these other individuals, these politicians, that adds up to stuff like that. Blood on the streets. That's why I get so pissed off when that shit happens. And there's no difference between the negative cognitive dissonance that adds up to the blood laying on the streets and the so-called positive cognitive dissonance of this one a this new age one world agenda it's the same effect it's missing this storyline and the focus as a whole and that's where this all lives matter shit comes in it's not just you it's not just red people and brown people and yellow people or whatever. It's not. That doesn't exist. It's all lives matter. You think we, you really think that we're just because see, black lives matter. And I'm not defending the black lives matter movement. I've mentioned my perspective on black lives matter in the past in previous videos. I understand the control energy the the limitations of that movement there's a difference between that energy and stepping into your power in the the essence of that storyline that shit is just a, a movement but even that movement in understanding that something exists still needs to be beat down by the supremacy system and make you wrong. <laughs> so when you say something as simple as stop shooting us, because you it, it has a very focus. It, it does have a focus. Stop shooting us. Because all lives matter. It's like, well, wait, you're missing the whole point. Yes, we understand all lives matter. But you only invented that billboard, that sign in order to have a good guy and a bad guy which is the same story with the, the, the positive cognitive dissonance all lives matter is the same thing same story it's to cover up to cover up information to slow movement You don't think that this has an effect on like, like that individual mentioned, all people? And what effect does that have when you see the trend in the image like this? This is the spiritual level. This is on the spiritual connection. Hollywood having all white actors is the same effect. It's just on the mind level, mind control level. And the police officers and your teachers in your schools, that could be understood as like a body level. So this is a spiritual mind control program. The Hollywood agenda being all white, white Oscars. That's like a mind control program on the mind level. And on the body level, you have your politics, your politicians, your teachers, your scientists, the university system. That's how we are enslaved as a whole. And that has an effect that that has an it, it exists. And it's up to the individual to understand why it exists. If you just get one storyline, say, oh, well, you know, it's the Jesuits and and, and uh it's the Anunnaki or it's the reptilians and it's it's it has no focus there's no, it's it's very simple it's just this and it's everybody that's being attacked so don't don't make it too complicated and all right you don't think this has a an effect on the divine feminine decades and decades of programming you're not worthy. You're not. What you are, what you are born as, yeah, it's, it's not beautiful. It's not anything. It's just,
This has an intention. This is an actual sorcery that I mentioned in the last video. And in order to protect the realization of that sorcery, they have to destroy the old, forget the ancient, separate you from your ancestors, separate you from those storylines. They do it on every single layer. And this is the new version. The old version was to steal everything, install a new program, adjust the frequencies of what the ancient people were tapping into, demonize it, call it primitive, call it savagery, install a new version of it, and then take it to the next level. Jump completely over all the chapters that lead up to the focus of this agenda and only go into this new one the new age agenda it's the same thing it's like we're all we're all one and we're still your leaders just from spaceships it's all about unity and oneness you can't Heal, truly heal, until you have done the work, you have healed the roots. That, that perspectives of jumping over the mind control program, jumping over the colonial system and the white supremacy program, that is to maintain power, first of all, on a collective scale and on the individual scale, also to protect the artificial ego and to set up the foundation for the new control grid and still maintain the lack this is just like the Barbie programming it's the same thing and they'll get Oprah out there they'll get Oprah out there to, to sell that agenda to make it look like it's not about anything specific it's not about race they'll get oh they'll put a so-called black president in there to make it look like things are changing they'll do all this stuff just to keep you distracted and then since you don't buy into the the, the intelligent people like the individual who left that comment he's an intelligent individual but it's focused on the perspective of that individual at the same time that we're all subject to our own work and our own lack of work. And when you understand that that is an, in an intention with stuff like YouTube and the internet and the new age agenda as a whole, the system knows that people will only do what it is that they are lined up to do. They will only focus on the information that, and this is why cartoons, video games, and the system, old system created these lazy people. The, the education system creates lazy people, emotional body people who don't want to go into that information. And it's priming, it's priming people to buy the new agenda. And you only will buy it if you have if if you're just flooded with information that is just on a positive scale, you won't hold the people accountable. You won't hold uh, the information. You you won't tap into the information that exists. You just won't, won't do it because it hurts too much. And in order for that hurt not to exist. You have to project that hurt on other people and say, well, you're wrong. You're missing the bigger picture. How many other videos have I mentioned the so-called bigger picture that you that these individuals mention that talk about? The bigger picture isn't the only picture. That's the whole point of the positive cognitive dissonance. 
the, the so-called bigger picture is the basis, it's the foundation to this new age agenda. This transhumanism, we're all one. It's the monkey mind evolution. Obviously, I've mentioned in other videos, we are all one in the spirit, spirit perspective. We are light body energies being affected in this earth plane experience in some kind of way. But that doesn't negate the information that has added up within this earth plane experience. You can't look the other way. Otherwise, you'll walk into another trap. The New Age agenda and that whole positive cognitive dissonance perspective is another trap. Standing Rock is not to take anything away from Standing Rock, but Standing Rock is one example of what's happening here that is happening all over the place and has happened all over the place. The Standing Rock for the Ohlone in the Bay Area is pretty much uh, the Shell Mound area. And I just wanted to share this to share another perspective of how this is not like an isolated incident and this is not something that should be ignored because this isn't a perfect it's a perfect example of the soul mind and body mind control program the body mind the the brain mind or the mind mind and the soul mind all underneath uh, a, a looking away the, a, a cognitive dissonance either on a positive scale or a negative scale. And it exists on that soul level that you're talking about when you try to defend <laughs> something. That, um, yeah. This is a burial ground, a burial mound in Emeryville, which is on the outskirts or in North Oakland basically it's a lonely land sacred burial ground in 1876 <clears throat> an amusement park was built on top of a burial ground they were literally dancing on the bones dancing on the graves of the Ohlone people and then when Prohibition hit, they tore it down and then eventually installed a Sherwin-Williams. Today, it's a mall. There's still bones underneath the Victoria's Secret and the Forever 21 and the Gap and the P.F. Changs and the Old Navy and the Apple Store and the AMC Theaters. still there this is a spiritual warfare that very much so does have a focus and you want to walk up to the Ohlone people and tell them oh this is not about race this is not about one thing see it's easy to get on the internet on a comment section and talk some shit the 90 something percent of the shit that's said on the comment section, they won't say it to your face. But that's the energy of the internet as a whole. That's what that's the intention of these pro this mind control program as a whole. It people know that. Behind the veil, behind the scenes, they know that. That's an energy that affects the entire the growth pattern of the individual is creating these adults. So just as much as you can have an adult who's sucked into video games or or the 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 man child mentality not engaging in their surroundings at all, not connecting to their ancestors at all, not connecting to the the soul mind body relationship at all. 
That's that's an actual energy. That's a focus. It's an intention. Just as much as that is an intention, the intention within the information that's available now as opposed to the past has an intention of a generic version of understanding information by just getting, you know, whatever it is, just oh well this is it. I'm I'm my own teacher. I, I, I teach myself this is it. This is all I need to focus on. It's all one story. It's all one thing. We're all one. It's easy. It's easy. It's easy to make a ham and cheese sandwich and eat that for the rest of your life. It's hard to make an entire meal for the entire world. I'm not saying that that's anybody's responsibility or that's um, what you need to be doing. But this understanding of the self is an understanding of the collective. The understanding of the self, the knowledge of self, is a knowledge of all of the storylines that add up to this collective program. Not half, not some, all of the stories. Yeah, that's pretty much all I had to share with this video. Uh, I just wanted to share that perspective of positive cognitive dis dissonance that I didn't really realize until yesterday. And, uh, yeah, so thank you for joining me. And until next time, from all my relations, peace, love, and harmony.